want to make money. Wait, I actually need to make money. But I have a lot of questions. Why should I start a business? Where can I start a business? When can I start a business? I mean, who can start a business? Am I a great candidate? What sort of business can I start? And the final question, how can I start a business? I want to start a business to learn new skills. I want to start a business to employ and empower young women. Being my own boss, now that is why I want to start a business. Why would I like to start a business? To invest in a bright future for my children. I want to start a business because it's easier than many people think. Why do I want to start a business? To follow in my mother's footsteps. I want to start my very own business because I want to be responsible. The reason why I want to start a business is to have more control over my life. I want to start a business because I want to become rich. I want to start a business because it's interesting and satisfying. Businesses are run from homes and offices, shops and market stalls, in every village and city in the world. Many businesses, including some of the biggest in the world, started at home and then moved into a different location when they grew. Start small, but think big. The right time to set up a business is when you are ready, which can be today. Getting ready means learning about the right ingredients and recipe to make your business succeed. You can start your business part-time or full-time. Maybe you can start your business today. There are hundreds of millions of businesses in the world and the people who own them come in all colors, shapes and sizes. Old and young, man and woman, rich and poor. Some people start a business on their own, others do it with a partner or a group of people. But starting a business is something for anyone who really wants it. There are two types of businesses. Products and services. Products are things like clothes, food, soap, furniture and so on. And services are other needs people or businesses may have that aren't things like cleaning, cooking, taxi driving and hairdressing. What your business will be is a big and important question. Getting the answer right is vital to success. You want to know how? Follow me on this educational journey on how to make money. Why do you want to start a business? Write down the three main reasons you'd like to start a business. I keep hearing about the big four. They say to be successful, I need to know and understand the big four. But no one wants to tell me what it is. Success in business depends mainly on having a firm grasp of the big four. Everyone is capable of learning it, so it is up to you to determine if you want it enough. It is important to identify if you will master the big four or if you can team up with someone to get it done. Otherwise, you may need to find another business to pursue. Business is busyness. Business is hard work, hard work and even more hard work. The clue is in the word. In English, business comes from the word busyness. Behind every good business are busy people. Business needs planning. Successful businesses have a plan. This guide will help you build one. Many businesses fail because they don't have a plan. This guide shows you what you need to think about. Business makes sales. Good business make income, which means making sales. 
A successful business is one where you're selling products or services and make a profit from the income. You make money. Sales are the heart of any successful business. Business takes control. Good business is about control, what happens with the money. Businesses make money, but they also need money to grow. If you can't control your business and especially the money, or really trust someone who can, just don't start. The money will disappear and so will the business. Okay, so now I finally get it. Business, planning, sales and taking control. Now I know exactly what to do. There are two different approaches for a good business idea. First, standing in this market, I wonder what are the people willing to buy and what are the products that I could sell here. When you live in a specific area, think about what new products can be sold in that area. Or can you add new value to an existing product in the market so people would buy from you? Ask yourself these questions. Second, I would like to sell soap. Is this area a good place to sell soap? Let's give it a try. If you have a good idea for a new product, think about where it could be good to sell this product. For example, you see some amazing new homemade soaps that someone has started to sell in town. You could then look at other places where these soaps are not available to buy and find a good way to sell it in those areas. Remember, it's not always about what people want. People want lots of things. The question is what they would put money on the table for. What do people need so much they have to buy it or what can you create a market for? There also are many business possibilities in your area. You could start selling fresh and dried fish, tailoring local outfits, go taxi driving, give dancing lessons, sell peppers and vegetables, start a catering service, or start farming. What business do you think he will choose? Here are more business ideas. Maybe some of these can work for you. Is there someone you can offer to assist them in their garden with lawn mowing, weeding or watering to keep their garden look nice? To teach kids in mathematics or English this could work as a good part-time job if you are a busy student. People always need transport. Taxi driving can be good if you know how to find your customers and to be there when they need your services. Hairdressing is a business you can start from home. And when your customers start knowing you have good skills and service, you could scale up over time. Are you in an area where people can need some extra help with their laundry? Ensure you give quality service to make them come back to you. Some tourists are willing to pay for some real local experiences. Before you start, try to find out how tourists like to be treated and what they enjoy to see and explore. Remember, there are many different types of tourists. Start offering your cleaning services and show them that you do a good job for a good price then they are very likely to come back if your location is right for them. You can sell fish on the market, but you can also dry it and bring the fish to areas where they don't have access to fresh fish. Find out what kind of fish your customers have interest in. Many customers like local made Thai and Dai products. Try to find the patterns, colors and products that your customers like the most and will pay for. Not only the one you like the best. Ataya or mint tea is a popular drink in many places. You can grow it in a garden or also just in a water bath as shown here. Mint leaves can be sold fresh or dried as tea. If you have access to bamboo, you can make your own furnitures that are strong and have a nice design. You can also combine it with nice textiles to make it fit into different types of homes and settings. Honey is a medicine and a great product to use in and as food. You can use locally made beehives or find the honey in the forest. 
Ensure to harvest the honey in the correct way so the bees will come back to make more honey. Tomatoes are a popular product. Try to harvest also out of the season when the prices are higher and you can make more profit. Groundnuts can be sold in many variations. Be sure you keep it clean and hygienic. People always need bread. Is there a demand for more or different kind of bread supplies in your area? I also have some mangoes in my garden. I guess I need to find some customers to buy them. Let's try something. Get some people together and give everyone a piece of paper and a pen. Everybody has five minutes to think of three business ideas and write them down. Pass the paper to the next person to help inspire them to write three more ideas in five minutes. Afterwards, share and discuss all the ideas. Write down any new ideas or important points that came up. Competition means other businesses selling the same product or service. Should I sell the same products as other businesses or should I come up with something totally new? Competition means other businesses selling the same product or service. Sometimes competition helps. For example, a food or vegetable market with lots of sellers will attract lots of customers who like to browse and choose from a bigger selection. But too many sellers or too few customers is a problem. For example, if you bake more bread in one village than it needs each day, you will need to think of other products. Competition can be good when and competition can be bad when Competition brings out the best in products and the worst in people Competition can be good for a business But always remember to be nice to each other <laughs>